Hello guys, welcome back today. So, I was going to make a gaming video last time, but problems, problems, problems. So, um, I decided to make just a scratch video and not make up for that gaming video, but next week is going to be a gaming video, I promise. So, um, in this video I'll be talking about how to make a text engine, because all good games have a nice text engine that they use, like always. Well, most of them. After my intro. Okay, guys, I am back after my intro. So, we just need to... This is not really important, by the way, so you can just delete that. First, start by creating a custom block with maybe... You can just put text engine here or whatever. I just put my username and then text engine. And then put write text and then x, x, y, y text size size text brightness brightness you don't necessarily need the brightness but i find it useful do not run without screen refresh so um then put your set brightness effect to brightness and then set size to size then switch costume to um to blank which is a space you have to actually draw out all these costumes make sure they're um, lowercase letters you can add capital letters and lowercase letters but that saps out a lot of time so I won't do that in this video you can also put numbers and stuff and if I didn't mention already you need uh, what, where is it one second you need just a blank sprite with nothing in it for a space and don't press space here just leave it empty and then you have show and go to front layer these aren't necessary but just you know you should have them and then go to x x y y and then you, you need variables these are all just for your text engine don't make them for all sprites but i guess it's fine if you do so then Set text X to X, set text Y to Y, set text number to zero. Then repeat the length of write text, change text number by one, set text asset, yes, and other variable, to letter of te letter text number of write text. Then create a clone of yourself. Then, then, wait a minute. Oh, when I start as a clone, do text clone setup. And do do and check run without screen refresh. Then in that block, um, do switch costume to text asset. Repeat text number. Change x by 15. X by 15 just you know changes that. If you did like 20, you can you can see the big difference. So 15 fits for the font I'm using, but you can always do whatever fits for you. Then if X position is, wait a minute, is that a greater than? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that symbol is. For some reason, it just blew up my mind. I did one, six, 163 because 163 is right there. And if I did something else like maybe 20, it hit, hit there and do it, or like 50, then it hit there and do it, but I do 163, and then that fit, then that fits perfectly for me. Then you do set X to text X, and change Y by minus 15, it, which means when you exceed this limit, um, It'll go down a certain amount, and then, like, so a demonstration is right here and right here. So if you did something more than minus 15, you can see the difference. But for me, minus 15 is perfect. Um, then after that, you can go ahead and start doing your text engine. Position it. Set your text size to whatever fits for you. In this case, 400 fits. Like, if I did 100, you can barely see it. So, 400 fits for me. Text brightness, should for me, should just be 0. If I did, like, 50, you can see the difference. It starts, like, getting brighter and brighter. So then, put another thing. Make a broadcast called text delete. And then, when you receive text delete, delete this clone. So, um, and so, 
this can be any key. I'm just doing when Z keys pressed, wait until not Z keys pressed, and then broadcast text delete. It doesn't necessarily have to be right there. It can be under here, but I'd rather put it over here because it looks more neat. And then you can also just like so that means so because we have that there, um when we press Z it'll act so first let's let it run its text here then if we press z it goes to the second thing so yes um it can be any key though so um yeah that's basically it you can add a text effect so that you can have rainbow effect vibrate effect and stuff i'm still working on that and i may cover that in a later tutorial so i hope you like this video remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one